ምንድናቸው አጠቃላይ የሰው ልጆች በመሆናችን ብቻ ጥሩ ነገሮችን ለይተን ልምዳችን እና ምን ከተላቸው የማድረጉ ነገር ሴቶቻችን ምንድናቸው ለምሳሌ ኢትዮጵያውያን ሴቶች መከባበር ሊሆን ይችላል በድሜ ማክበር ሰው አንድ ትልቅ ሴት ነው ውሸት አለማዋሸት አለመስረቅ ግለኛ አለመሆን ራስ ወዳድ አለመሆን ለምሳሌ እንግዲህ እንደኛ የዚህ አይነት ጥሩ የሆኑ ሴቶችን በደም አይዳንቲፋይ አድርገው ተመርጠው ለልጅ ልጆች የሚተላለፉ ለጀነሬሽን የሚተላለፉ የማድረግ ነገር እነኚ ነገሮች ካሉ እነኚ ሴቶች ካሉ እና በህብረተሰብ ውስጥ በደም በሚታወቁና ህብረተሰብ ደግሞ በደም በሚተገብራቸው የሚከተላቸው ከሆኑ እንደ አንድ ህብረተሰብ እንደ አንድ ሀገር ህዝብ በአንድነት ልንኖር እንችላለን እነኚ በጣም ኢምፖርታንት ናቸው ነው አጠቃላይ ከዛ ቀጥሎ የተነሳው እንደዚህ سنል ቀላል ነገር አይደለም እዚህ ላይ ስለ ሂማን ባሊስ የሰው የሰው ሰው በመሆናችን ብቻ ምንድነው እነኚ ሴቶቻችን የሚለውን አንድ ባለሙያ የተወሰነ ሐሳብ ሼር አድርጓል ኢንፋክት ስካውን ያላለቀለስ ነው ይሄ ባሊዎች ወይም ሴቶች የምንላቸው ነገሮች አልቆላቸው እከሌ 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 ናቸው ብለው ዲፋይንድ ሆኖ በደንብ የተቀመጡ ነገሮች አይደሉም ስካውን ድረስ ብዙ ክርክሮች ብዙ ውይይቶች እነኔትኞቹ እንጣል እነኔትኞቹ ትክክል ናቸው የሚለው ደሞ በወቅታዊ መሆናቸው ነው ባንድ ወቅት በህብረተሰቡ ዘንድ በጣም ይታመንባቸው የነበሩ ነገሮች አሁን የማይሰሩበት ሁኔታ አለ ለምሳሌ ፕራክቲካል ኤግዛምፕል ብንነግራቹ ከዚህ በፊት ታማይ መሆን ሰው ማክበር ሰው ማመን እንደ አንድ በህብረተሰቡ ውስጥ እንደ ትልቅ እሴት ይቆጠረ የነበረ ቃል ባሁኑ ጊዜ ደግሞ ዓለም አድጋ አጨርባሪዎች እየበዙ ነጣቂዎች እየበዙ ባለበት ወቅት እንደዛ አይነት ነገር ይዞ መቀመጥ ጎጂ ነው መፍጹም እና ሰው መጠራጠር አለበት ሰው ሲቀርብ ተጠራጠረው የሚል አይነት ነገር እየነገሰ የመጣበት ነገር አለ ሰው ሰው በመሆኑ አመኘው ሪስፔክት አድርገው ቀርበው የልበን ይያወራው ትያለው አሁን ግን ያደግ ያለንበት ሁኔታ ግን ሰው ለማመን በጣም አስቸጋሪ የሆነበት ሁኔታ ነው እኮ ብለው የሚከራከሩ ሰዎች አሉ that's why እነኚ ሴቶች በአንድ ወቅት ሁሉም ሰው ይቀበላቸውና ጥሩ የነበሩ ነገሮች በአንድ በኩል ደግሞ አሁን ዲቨተብል ትንሽ ጥያቄ የሚፈጥሩ ጥርጥር የሚፈጥሩ ሁኔታዎች ሆኖ ተገኝቷል አሉ። እና በአጠቃላይ እነኚ ሴቶቻችን በተለይ በየሀገሩ የተለያዩ ሊሆን ይችላሉ። የአስተዳደጋችን የትምርቱ ሲስተም በባህላችን ሃይማኖታችን ራሱ እነኚህን ሴቶች ለያንዳንዱ ሀገር የራሱ የሆነ እሴት አለ። ለምሳሌ ኖርዌይ የምንኖርበት ጊዜ የኖርዌይ ህብረተሰብ ከመጀመሪያ ጊዜ ጀምሮ ተከትሏቸው የመጣ ነገሮች አሉ። እኛ ደግሞ እንደ ኢትዮጵያዊ ደግሞ ስናድክ ከባህላችን ከቤተሰቦቻችን ከህብረተሰብ ይዘናችን የመጣ ነገሮች አሉ። እና በሁሉም ቦታ እነኚህ ነገሮች ይሰራሉ ማለት አይደለም። ግን የሰው ልጅ በመሆናችን ብቻ ሰዎች ስለሆን ማሰብ ስለምንችል ሁኔታዎችን አዳብት ማድረግ ስለምንችል በሄድንበት ቦታ አዳብት ማድረግ ሁኔታውን ማየት እና መገንዘብ እና ህብረተሰቡ የሚከተላቸው የሚከተላቸው የሚያመናቸው እሴቶች የመከተል ግዴታ አይኖርብናል ማለት ነው። በሌላ በኩል በአለም አሁን ይሄ ግሎባሊዝም እየተባለ በአለም በተረጨንበት ጊዜ ግን እነኚህ ነገሮች በጣም አስቸጋሪ ይሆኑ መጥተዋል ለምሳሌ ተላያየ ሃይማኖት የሚከተሉ ሰዎች አሁን ያለውን ኤክስትሪሚዝም ብናይ ራሱን የቻለ ለአንተ ሰው መግደል ለምሳሌ የሰው ልጅ ማጥፋት እንደ ትልቅ ጽድቅና አንተ የሚታይበት ነገር ነው ኢትስ ጀስት ቲንክ ዳት ኪሊንግ ፒፕል ኢትስ ጀስት ኮሚንግ ቱ ዘ ሄቨን which is old old የሆነ ነገር ነው አሁን እንደዚህ አይነት ነገር እና እነኚህ እነኚህ ነገሮች እንግዲህ ባሉበት እንትን በተለይ እንደ አውሮፓ እንደ አሜሪካ ብዙ የተለያየ ህብረተሰብ የተለያየ ኢትኒ ግሩፕ በሚኖርባቸው አካባቢዎች የጋራ የሆኑ ነገሮች መፈለግ አስፈላጊ እንደሚሆነ የሚያሳይ ነው ግን ሊያስማሙን የሚችሉ አትሊስት እውነት ምንድናቸው እነኚህ ተቀስናቸው አንድ አምስት ነገሮች 
بیانس بیانس فلوم سو آو سلام مثلا دموکراسی مال بس جستیس است جستیس فت نسلا اینگی هولا چینم این ده تلک استت نالن کوا کوا چه میکنن بارو یه میل نواد تکالی که تا اون زیر است لیم دو مالام شاید گونه مدت تا چی چالد نستار کومندریم سام درمت Welcome to Sigmund and Carolina. This is called the producer of Sailet on PMDR. Let's go for a few minutes. Let's go for a few minutes. Yes, okay. But... It's a little bit. Yes, yeah. Thank you for the presentation. Yes, it's a little bit. For the presentation, yes. For alle Ethiopia Channel, my men for Nush Kvinner. I wait to work for I really took then a presentation in dark for the dark min min discipline. Another min a bit yar microbiolog. So I have a lot of social facts about the social facts. So I have a piling. So I have to prove that I surf a little in the net. I have to find a few examples of the people who are talking about it. So all that I have to prove is that I have to Ligger på nätet och där upp till där och tolka om det är verkligen värt att snacka om för att vara lite förstolig. Jag ska prova att snacka på engelsk eller engelsk. Values are simply defined as good habits, habits by we human beings, and these good habits are contagious. That means they just pass through. Uh, generations and uh, values of Verdier uh, are important in a society uh, and uh, in keeping a society uh, together. We human beings uh, differ from, from other animal species because uh, we have to share uh, this world in common and to share the, 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 the world we have to uh, come together, interact and values uh, help us to, to uh, live together uh, in fact just uh, keeping our uh, individuality that doesn't mean that we share these values equally we have still uh, personal uh, or individual characteristics Uh, <clears throat> wait for a minute. Uh, human values, human values are, uh, uh, are very human actually. And in one book written by Clifford Sharp, uh, a very uh, wide concept is presented and it, it reads as Human values are the habits of thought each of us acquire as we mature so that we can assess and deal with ethical problems. Should we aim at happiness or knowledge at virtue of the creation of beautiful objects? If we choose happiness, will it be our own or will it, take, will it make proper allowance for the happiness of others? 
and one of the more particular questions that face us is it right to be dishonest in good cause? Can we justify living in op opulence while elsewhere in the world people are starving? What are our obligations to the other creatures with whom we share this planet and to the generations of humans who will come after us? What do we regard as good quality of life for us and for others? So this talk shows us that when we just try to think about uh, verdier or values, uh, what is our habit of thinking? Uh, when we think happiness, for example, is that happiness for ourselves? Is that happiness for other people? Are we thinking the world as a whole? Uh, so this is a kind of thought that everybody has to do or to, 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 to acquire when we address the important values or human values. Human values uh, provide the general criteria for good behavior, but because of the changing nature of life in society, they cannot be formulated as explicit norms, laws, rules, or regulations. In fact, these values are not formulated as laws and regulations, uh, but because we are humans and we are the ability of thinking and analyzing, we have to just think that good values are important to interact to each other and our individual life is connected directly with society. We have to uh, think very rational and choose the good ones and uh, avoid the bad ones. Uh, it can be, th this human values can be formulated or expressed in many ways. They are not abstract principles developed by academics or preachers, but life embedded ideas and percepts. Uh, values, they are embedded in, in us. Uh, they are not actually set by academics or preachers. We as a human being, as an organism who can think, we acquire them when we just develop from time to time and a percent. Values are not divinely ordinal rules of behavior or they are not commandments set in stone. They are related to differing cultures, unique persons and situations are, and are developed and expressed in human terms for the human aims they collectively represent. In fact, values or verdia are peculiar to different cultures and societies and unique persons and situations. In fact, one important value that has been very recognized or acceptable by an, a given society before 100 years might not uh, apply at this stage because it's, it shows a kind of development uh, with the society and with the uh, era. The culture itself is the determining factor in what are regarded as values and what is anti-values. In fact, there are different cultures in our globe and different cultures have their own values that are uh, uh, prioritized by that given uh, society experience, uh, uh, um, exercising that given culture. Values are most related as much to the history and traditions from which they arose as to the demands of the current environment which now must be said more and more to be a global one. We are Ethiopians, 
we have a culture that has been embedded to society for centuries and values in that society might not uh, necessarily uh, apply directly to society in Europe or in, in, in Norway, for example. So it is very peculiar uh, to a given society and culture. But the problem is now that the, the globe or the, 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 the planet we live is just coming together and people are intermingled and we have the duty of trying to formulate values that are applicable uh, worldwide. Any attempt to develop a single value system to account harmoniously for all the behavioral tents of all the major religions and cultures would be vain and most probably counterproductive in practicing the global society. So that's what I've said earlier. It's, it's very difficult and it's challenging to try to uh, develop a single value system to uh, 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 different cultures and societies and religions. Our societies become more closely interrelated and common positions and practices emerge. As a result, the question of values must be recognized, uh, reconsidered and reinvigorated as part of adding that process. So the challenge is now in this uh, planet, human beings are just coming together and living together and now we have to deal with values that are applicable uh, everywhere as far as human beings are uh, uh, no more longer living isolated in uh, uh, different corners. So, uh, there are, I think, five or so values uh, selected by analysts or uh, 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 which are m most probably uh, inherent to a human being because we are human beings and human beings, although we have uh, experiencing uh, different uh, peculiar cultures and traditions we have uh, so many things in common so as a human being we uh, share uh, values that can be accepted or should be uh, 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 known uh, by all of us the first one is truth we call it UNET in Amharic. UNET is an important value and this does not depend on uh, upon the will or wish of the individual but is independent of desires and their related interests and opinions. Truth exists whether we like it or not. Somebody can be a liar but he knows that truth is a truth and he doesn't want to be called a liar. The faculty of rational thinking possessed by all humans, however much developed or not, or in whatever form it takes, is in the first and last instance what enables us to distinguish the true from the false, insofar as this is humanly possible. Truth is an inherent value in the human psyche. No one likes to be called a liar, not even most liars. Even with They live is the basis of a secure society. So a society built up of individuals uh, who are truthful is basic to create a sound and prosperous society.
love and caring is one of the values that everyone should acquire and uh, have that means love to living organisms and nature and the environment concern and respect for others and the environment that's all about love and caring love is unselfish care and concern for the well-being of others and the world at large how to love each other and we have to love the world we are living in accept others for who they are not what they can do for you accept everybody not for what they are going to do for us but as they are love includes altruism understanding and forgiveness as in most cases preached in uh, lots of uh, religious institutions too focus on the similarities of opinions rather than the difference of color ethnicity religion or sexual orientation the fact that the, the, the world we are living in now nowadays it is preached and said so many times that human beings are human beings and we have to just love them and accept them as they are whether they are from another religion ethnicity or have different color and so on. with love will be people and not monsters in fact that is a very a peculiar characteristics of human beings uh, in contrary to other animal species we identify and we uh, always try to be inclusive to all human beings because they are humans if we want our society to be good to us we need to be good to it as well if we expect that the society is prosperous if the society is uh, sound we have to realize that we have to be good to the society too the day we stop fighting for each other we stop being human beings that means if the problem or the challenge of my colleague or my fellow human being does not give sense to me then then i have no other behavior that differs me from other animal species so as human we have to feel the burden the challenge of other human beings peacefulness or non violence is another important value in person's life in society and in world terms is a product of all positive values working together peacefulness in mind or peaceful in a society peaceful in a, a country or peaceful in, a, in in our planet is the result of the cumulative effect of uh all positive values working together the ones we have mentioned earlier the peace of nations at last partly arises and is sustained through the cumulative efforts of society including the peaceful and just behavior of at least an aggregate of individuals whether we believe it or not the whole turbulent situation currently we are observing in our planet is a cumulative effect of or the contribution of individuals if individuals are peaceful non violent if we work on individuals so that they just uh be inspired by these values or know these values or understand and exercise them. these good values our planet can be safe and peaceful because of the emotional and mental dependencies that arise from attachment to material things peacefulness is related to controlling one's desires we human beings have so many emotional desires 
were highly bonded to materials, loved to possession of uh, huge money, maybe, wells. If we cannot control all these ambiguous desires, uh, peacefulness is not achievable. The quantity and type of foodstuffs we take in, for example, we have to control ourselves even even with, with, with foodstuffs that we are consuming, or the number and type of materials we possess. We have limitless interest of possessing materials, and if we are not able to just control or limit, then still very difficult to uh, have peace in mind and give or think peaceful to other individuals and, and to society as a whole. The type or quality of sensory impressions to which one subject is the mind. I mean, we just sense a lot of things. We see things. And if we do not control our sensory organs even from these unnecessary impressions, that might lead us to uh, uh, uncertainty and then violence. The other most important value is justice. In fact, this is included by Europeans and is considered one of the most important values of human beings. It embraces uh, embrass most aspects of social life. Justice aims to resolve and reduce conflict guided by the principles of care and non-violence. The aim to achieve social justice for the perceived common good. And the classical Greek idea of justice eventually gave rise to, the, to that of uh, human rights. Justice also has wide-ranging political relevancy such as in the strivings of egalitarianism in political democracy and other systems of rule. It's expressed in all forms of human interest and in care of living nature. Towards others, it is positively realizable in such ways as through protection, circums circumspection, understanding of real needs and sympathy. Human rights are duties we have towards our fellow men to avoid harming them physically, emotionally or otherwise. Forgiveness. Many people consider forgiveness of one's enemies or wrongdoers as of high moral value something which is truly human. Mutual respect is one of the critical, uh, the crucial values in any type of relationship. For a given relationship, mutual respect is mandatory and without it, we cannot experience or enjoy relationship with friend, a society, or a family. It means having respect in our minds for everyone, even if you are up against a person, even a person that we do not like, because he is a human being, has to be respected. This respect can help us keep the balance between welfare state and social Darwinism in society. We need to respect our friends for their friendship and our enemies for their ability to be competitive and their conviction. It's very difficult, but we have to do it because we are sharing the same planet and we are living in, 
the, the same society. It is this respect that makes us human and differs from other animals. Another important value is loyalty. It is an emotion that binds us to a person, things, or sentiment. This emotion restricts us from betraying that person or thing. We need to be loyal to each other, to shudder at the thoughts of speaking or thinking negative about each other. We need this loyalty together to gather the strength to stand up against something that will harm our society and to stand up for the oppressed. That's what we are in most cases missing. If you take our Ethiopian society, we are suffering from dictatorship and uh, poverty. It's in most cases very difficult to stand together and defend our right and do good for our country and society. Loyalty brings down the global walls and makes this world one big home. Honesty in a society is to accept yourself for what you are and let everyone know that as well. We have to be honest with ourselves. So honesty starts from an individual to be honest with himself and tell the truth who he is, who he is so that he can get what he wants from other people too. This honesty will help you make yourself better simply because you had the ability to admit your flaws and work towards improving yourself. Maybe we might have deficiencies that we do not want to share with other people. So if I am not honest myself and tell the truth to others without just feeling ashamed, that won't take us anywhere. It is this honesty that will make others help you out not because you need it, but because they have flaws too, which you can help out with. If we are honest with ourselves and come out with our deficiencies and weaknesses, that will encourage other people to come out, or to be honest with us, and that will contribute positively to the society. This honesty will help us follow the other values in society and truly heal the world. In summary, these five categories of uh, values are very crucial. Truth, love, caring, peace, responsibility, justice, and with various sub-values that has to be looked into in detail. So if we are interested, I think you have to just go to uh, the web and refer to these very important sub-values or categories of values. Common values are tried to be addressed globally. It has to be common as I said earlier, the, the globe is becoming smaller, people are intermingled, a lot of people are migrating from one place to another place, and there is a diversity of people or individuals living in a given society with different cultures, religion, and uh, different types of childhood experiences. So this challenge necessitates the a proper handling of a proper uh, management of common values. What are common? They are common for human beings where, wherever we are and with whom we are. Uh, 
if we take Europe these days they are experiencing problems with say migrants or other countries exercising another religion so this necessitates to, to devise common values the other challenging issue nowadays is the fragmentation of religions into smaller aggressive doctrines and the political and economic influence that they exert play a crucial role in the genesis of these challenges. As I said, the growing number of non-European immigrants in Europe is another, another a challenge and this is the kind of challenge that the, the globe is uh, facing and common values or human values are important to adhere to each and every individual. And this can be done by such a seminar. Education is very basic, educating people and using other means. Among all the differences and specificities, we can still find some ethic values which are shared by people of different walks. Yeah, as human beings, that's a common a denominator and that will help us to come up with common values irrespective of ethnicity, religion, uh, political view, and so on. If these values and ideas, which can become the common denominator for the development of an intercultural dialogue grounded on mutual respect. There was one project financed by EU, uh, 19, uh, 2003, and this project, Common Values, has identified few specific actions that can be implemented in order to emphasize the common aspects of different systems of thought. Aims at promoting peace culture through the implementation of dialogue among different religions and cultures. Human values applied in practice are mutually interrelated while having an interdependent essence in each case usually appears as a guideline or norm that helps us to judge what is or is not right or good in any situation. Many values, values as statutory laws or even as unwritten norms. That's it. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you.